Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another second channel video. When have you seen a second channel video in quite some time? But today, we actually have some insane news to talk about. And I haven't really been seeing this a lot being covered around within the community. But you know what is happening? Call of Duty Mobile Zombies is being brought back. And I don't even know what to think about it. Because the only thing that we have as concrete evidence towards this is that we have this image right here now obviously towards the left you know that's my homie ghost with the purple shades but then on the right we have zombified Richtofen coming back and now granted cod mobile at the beginning let's be 100 percent real that was straight bad like they basically remastered just shino numa from what i know and potentially just made it a little bit different with a couple more easter eggs a couple more different side quests which was okay in my opinion it wasn't really that outstanding but to the fact that they're bringing it back and potentially it could have more of its own new mode makes me more excited than ever because i know it's called mobile zombies they've it's had a track record of being absolutely awful ever since the world at war and the black ops one versions were released as ios apps on mobile oh my gosh but now we've got into a, a better system to where I think COD Mobile might actually introduce a one feature that could potentially change Call of Duty Zombies forever. And I want to really talk about this because COD Mobile, I know it's actually got a large audience. A lot of people are playing the multiplayer, but the reason why COD Mobile Zombies actually got removed and now is coming back is because lots of the players were only playing multiplayer and not playing zombies. And in this video, I kind of want to give solutions towards this problem and to talk about what it is that cod mobile zombies could do that could not only change the entire series but could also exchange its player base from multiplayer all the way to zombies and also for cold war to have a lot of different avenues for players to go through now call of duty mobile zombies we know it's not that great we know that people play it just because it's some extra content but i will say some of the bosses they've added in Call of Duty Mobile Zombies. Oh my gosh, they've been great, man. And the, also another thing is Call of Duty Online is shutting down. So there's going to be a player base from Call of Duty Online that is going to have to go to another place. And I think a lot of these guys are either going to go towards the main series or Call of Duty Mobile. And with Call of Duty Mobile, this is the idea that I want to bring up. I don't know if any of you guys have played an older game called Halo Reach. Now, back in my heyday, when I was 12 years old, this game released in 2010, and I played this game. But the one iconic feature that I loved about Halo Reach, and I know it wasn't introduced in Halo Reach, but it was called Forge Mode. And Forge Mode was just accessible playground play box where essentially you could create anything on this map where it would be this massive massive map but within that map you could change it to where let's say you want an enemy to spawn here or you want a building to be here it was essentially your playground you could change it you can make buildings you could do whatever you can make different game modes and I believe that this is the final step for Call of Duty zombies in general I think with Cold War zombies the really isn't much evolution towards the game because Call of Duty Zombies runs off of nostalgia. Everybody loves nostalgia. We all love the BO1 maps. We love the World of Wars, the BO2 maps as well. The nostalgia is what runs Call of Duty Zombies in my opinion. It's the lifeblood and you have to think about it. What other Zombies medium in 2021 even exists other than Call of Duty Zombies that's as successful? And I literally cannot name you one. And in my opinion, it's because with Call of Duty Zombies, now we're getting a little bit deep here but with call of duty zombies it's actually an adventure based game mode without even being the main center point of the zombies if that even makes sense like with zombies i love to explore the maps i love to figure out what's going on and in call of duty mobile actually incentivized this idea and created a forge mode onto call of duty mobile that would change the game like because with halo reach you could change 
change where you spawned, what type of enemy spawned, where you want to play, what game mode you want to play. And I know a lot of people have really been craving to play Last Man Standing from Tim Hansen's series onto a game mode. And if they were able to add a Forge mode into Call of Duty Mobile, it would be so easy. It would look terrible. Might I add, it would probably look absolutely awful and it would cost so much dev time to create. And I know obviously a lot of the Call of Duty main devs are working on Warzone, so something like this could not happen for zombies. But I believe that this is the final breath of life that Call of Duty Zombies needs because a lot of the people, like I said, we only run and love Call of Duty Zombies based off of nostalgia. When they try new things like with Black Ops Force Chaos storyline or even with a lot of Black Ops Cold War, a lot of people are not excited about it, including myself. But with an actual accessible map maker, because Black Ops 3 Custom Zombies does have an accessible map maker, but I'm talking make this available on mobile, making this available to literally everyone. Everyone in 2021 has a phone, in my opinion. Like, I swear, it, it, this would be such a great idea. And then this idea could essentially build off towards the main games, and you could actually make so many different ideas. Like, Last Man Standing could happen. You can make it so different boss zombies spawn on your maps. You can make a moving map. Like, uh, the map makers already on Black Ops 3 Zombies have showed that they have much more promise and integrity than anyone in Treyarch. They are overlapping Treyarch by a mile. Like, just look at Leviathan that came out last year. Leviathan was probably my favorite Call of Duty Zombies map of 2020, and that was solely because it was revolutionary. It was based off of Black Ops 1, and it was trying to do something new while also being such a fantastic redesign of an older map and and honestly that is what people love in this community a lot of people are watching Virgo's transit trailers just because it's going to be something that we know and love but redesigned in an awesome way and the only way that we can make that accessible for players without having to rely on Treyarch is for an accessible map maker to be made and I'm telling you Treyarch you already have the systems from mutations from Black Ops 4 you could even introduce this into your games like Call of Duty Mobile man it would be so easy you have have everything built out and that is why it, like Treyarch this DLC model is going to die out eventually we are at this point I believe where a lot of people don't like DLC cycles we don't like having to wait for a map playing it once for the map playthrough playing it again for the Easter egg and then after that for content it's actually quite difficult to make but if we had a map maker that is where the excitement is. In my opinion, that's why NoahJ456 is the largest zombies content creator within this entire platform is because he captures that idea of adventure. He goes towards everyone on his YouTube channel and says, yo, look at this massive tower in Call of Duty Zombies. And that is so exciting to me, where if you can actually have the access to play that map after the YouTuber did without having to own a PC, without having to have a high-end graphics card, that is the future that I would really love to see. But ladies and gentlemen, it's just one man's dreams. I hope that Treyer can do it, man. I really think in the future, this would be the way to seriously make it so that Call of Duty Zombies, no matter the game, will still be successful just because everyone has full access to an easy to create forge mode within their game so ladies and gentlemen thank you again so much and i will see y'all in that next one let me know what you want me to upload on this channel seriously what should i upload <laughs>